How's it going, everyone? It's the All Gaming Blog playing Black Ops 2. NVIDIA Shields overview and your questions answered. Alright, so what is NVIDIA Shield? Well, it's the latest handheld gaming platform. So, after reading some reviews and actually seeing the console, I'm going to go over the specs and the experience of this handheld uh, for the curious ones. So, if I were to describe the, um, the NVIDIA Shield, it's basically an oversized Xbox 360 controller matted with a giant Nintendo DS. It has, and I'll go over all the specs of it now, so it has a 5 inch 720p touchscreen and 2 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor and 12 gigs of storage. The battery life will last you for around 10 hours depending on uh, your settings and depending on how much you, you, you know, pull with it. Uh, the Shield comes with a stock Android 4.2.1 and can run practically every app in the Play Store. It doesn't come with a camera though, but there is a microphone however, so you can still make your Skype calls. Uh, there's no cellular radio, so you'll need a Wi-Fi wherever you go, if you want to stay connected. Uh, sadly enough, it does have less than 12 gigabytes of standard memory, and you can use an SD card with, let's say, 32 gigabytes, but then you can't install any Android apps to the card, so it makes it useless. However, NVIDIA promises that installing apps to the SD will be fixed in the very first update after launch. Uh, this is partially to, to Android to blame because they don't allow uh, for uh, apps to be installed on the SD card. Anyways, you can play pretty much any Android game with the Shields touchscreen, as awkward as it might be, but that's not the point of the system. If you're buying Shields, you want to play games with the controller support. And on Android, there simply aren't in uh, a lot of great controller games as of yet, because uh, it is mostly for uh, phones with touchscreen. For instance, uh, you might suppose that Minecraft Pocket Edition would be fantastic fun with a gamepad, but that's not how it works. Even though you can download Minecraft on an actual Xbox 360, the Android version doesn't include controller support. Uh, it's a problem for every Android game system with physical controls. But worse, even those games that do support game controllers don't play all that nice with the NVIDIA Shields joysticks and buttons. Uh, let's say Crazy Taxi for example, which debuted on Android a few weeks ago. It supports the Xperia Play and Power A's MOGA controllers, but not the Shield. To be fair, it's not NVIDIA's fault that developers don't have their ducks in a row, but it's stumbling block for the Shield either way. However, with more Android-based gaming systems like the Oya and others, uh, we might see more controller support for games. Alright, the Shield Tiger 4 uh, processor is plenty powerful enough to run Nintendo 64 and original PlayStation titles, with a few glitches here and there. So if you fancy playing, uh, let's say, Super Mario 64 or The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64 emulator, you can very well do that. So, uh, if the app experience isn't perfect, uh, not at all, and the Android game catalog is lacking, why would you buy a Shields over, let's say, a Nexus 7? Well, the answer is simple. PC game streaming. That's right, there's definitely a tiny bit of lag, but it's easily the most palatable streaming system I've ever seen. It's better than OnLive and better than Gaikai. And it looks killer on the shield screen. It feels like playing Xbox 360 because of the controls and the slight lag. But the level of detail my gaming PC can pump to do at 720p puts the Xbox One to shame. Now, the battery life is also surprisingly good while streaming. Uh, to be sure, there's a lot of equipment involved to make PC streaming work. And this is where I had most of the questions here. Um, you need a high-end... NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 series graphics, at least, to be able to, to be compatible to, uh, to live stream, to stream your games to the uh, NVIDIA Shield. You need 4 gigs of RAM and a Core i3. Sorry, but there's no AMD processors that work with it at the moment. You need also a very, very good router to be able to be able to stream it to your uh, NVIDIA Shield. So this is where this is uh, lacking a little bit. Uh, keep in mind that the PC streaming is still in beta. So keep in mind that they are still fixing it and they are still, uh, you know, messing with it. But that's what it needs. Um, so to answer Crew Soccer Dude 8 question, 
No, you can't play Black Ops 2 on the Envil Shield whilst on a car journey. Because that game you'd have to stream it. In order to stream it, you'd have to basically be right next to a computer. Or not right next to it, but, you know, somewhat close to a computer. Now, again, this is only so far. And the, one of the main issues at the moment is because Envy the Shield only works with Wi-Fi. It doesn't, you know, you can't work with a 4G network from your mobile uh, carrier at the moment, at least. Uh, if they're going to change that in the future, I highly doubt. I honestly don't think they will. But for the time being, you, you, you just it's not a possibility. So, it, it's sorry, but it doesn't work. You can't take it on a car journey, and again, it will last you to up to 10 hours of battery life, or maybe more if you conserve your battery. But it will not play... Uh, you won't, it won't, you won't be able to stream. You need to be close to a computer to be able to stream. For now, uh, again, there's Gaikai and and on live services that might may make a possibility for you to stream games, but you can play a, a crap ton of other Android games while on a car journey. But if you're taking the Shield just to play Android games, I would suggest you go with another uh, Android platforming mobile, either Nexus Seven or any other one, which will cost you less and will do the same. Alright, in conclusion, the NVIDIA Shield does have potential, and it is more than just a gaming machine. Uh, but with a $299 price tag, it's sure to be an expensive gadget. Uh, if it does sell enough units, it may very well be the best handheld system so far. But with the handheld market not doing so great nowadays, it might just be a flop. Either way, it's a step in the right direction for portable gaming. So it certainly does put a new standard on on handheld gaming as of now I, uh, with the controller and the touch screen and just the way the, the game is designed and the, the platform is designed it just it's great however i think there's still some issues with it that need to be overlooked um, for example the bold choice of going with android a, as a gaming uh, platform i don't think it's that great uh, for a gaming platform again it's great for casual gamers not for hardcore gamers and this is what it's more targeted at. It's targeted more at hardcore people, and with the lack of controls and with the lack of games, I'm sorry, but that's just it's not really there at the moment. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on the comment section below uh, if you're gonna get one and why, and also how you do like it. Also, if you wanna leave me questions that I can answer you, I will definitely help you out. I have been messing with it. It is certainly great. It should be released. Uh, by the end of this month, at least, for more to the general public, but it's been an early release for most people. Uh, I think it was uh, yesterday that it got released. Uh, there are reviews online, I'll leave you a link to a couple of them where you guys can read all about it. Again, uh, reviews are very biased, it, it, it depends on the experience of the person. But all in all, it's more than just an, uh, a gaming platform, you know? You can, you can do a lot more than that, you can, you, can, you know, Go to Google, you can Skype, you can talk to your friends. You, sadly enough, it does not support Steam at the moment, but uh, we hope that it will do in the near future. Anyways, guys, this is all the time I have for you, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, the gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed the commentary. And if you have, please do uh, remember to leave it a like, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, you can hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for all my video updates. Oh, and subscribe on YouTube. Want to see more of this series? Check out the playlists on the left side or the previous or the next video of this series.